Well, Rich Janet, police say they have a pretty good description of the two men they believe are doing the holdups. Both are about 20 years old, medium build, about six feet tall, and police are telling people who are out on the east side to be careful, especially late at night. On any weekend night, especially during the East End Fest, this part of downtown can be packed with people until early in the morning. But is there enough of a police presence? I see a presence not only on East Ave, but patrols up and down the side streets. So I think they're doing a great job. Murphy's Law co-owner Mark Carenza says the police advisory could make some suburbanites feel uncomfortable. But most of the people who live in the Park East Alexander neighborhood know how to stay safe. Although some had not even heard about the rash of robberies. No, I definitely didn't know about it. So it comes as a surprise? Yeah, it definitely comes as a surprise because I thought this was a pretty safe, you know, area where everybody's kind of looking out for each other, but... More presence could always help, especially in the later hours. Um, if there's other calls in different parts of the city, we might have some officers that have to leave the area to handle other, uh, you know, other problems in different parts of the city. Those are the times when maybe uh, we could use some more officers down here. Last night, before it got dark, Lynette Adams asked these suburbanites about the robberies. One actually said she thought New York City is safer. I felt a little bit safer in New York City, maybe, um, just because there's more people around all the time, and um, it's a very, like, policed area. Lynette also spoke with a manager of McGregor's across the street. There's usually a pretty good police presence in this area, but... Based on what I know, having grown up there, they need to beef it up in the South Wedge heavily. This isn't great either, but the South Wedge is getting hit hard, and we need more attention down there. The new spokesman for the city police department was not specific when asked about that today. Is there any talk about increasing patrols in the East End and other areas where these robberies have been occurring? We are constantly monitoring things and making adjustments where it needed to take care of things. Bar owner Ronnie Davis puts it a bit more bluntly. He's quoted as saying, it's middle class kids home from school and they have money, quote, where you find fish food, you find fish. Rich? And what are they, the uh, robbers looking for, Ray? Well, Chief Shepard says it's usually somebody's wallet or an iPod. In some cases, the perpetrators have knocked people down flat on the street to get that. They've shown a handgun in some instances or threatened it. These robberies, by the way, part of a 20% spike in recent holdups in the first six months of this year. Okay, Ray Lovato in the newsroom tonight. And in addition to those robberies, Rochester police continue to investigate multiple shootings, including two more last night. Officers were called to Agnes Street near Hudson Avenue around 945. Police tell us a 22-year-old man was standing outside a home when somebody began shooting at him. The victim was hit in the torso. He was taken to Strong, where at last check he was in guarded condition. Hours earlier, Rochester police were called to Spencer Street near Saratoga Avenue. Police say a 23-year-old man was uh, with a group when an unknown suspect got out of a vehicle and began shooting at them. That victim was hit once in the torso. Police say he was taken to Strong with non-life-threatening injuries. We spoke with Mayor Tom Richards today, and he had this reaction. Every time we get going on summer, we have a, an uptick in violence. And this year, summer got started a little earlier, and so did our uptick. Um, but, you know, any amount of violence that we have uh, is unacceptable and is threatening to people. The mayor maintains that Rochester is not a violent city. There have been 90 shootings so far this year and 19 homicides.